All right, Barrett, you ready to play? I was born ready. I sent you up there. That was an oldie but a goodie. <laughs> well, uh, a rolling stone gathers no moths. Wait, that is the same? No way. From old Earth. Got the slate to prove it. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I may be drunk, sir, but in the morning you'll still be ugly. <laughs> Where's that from? Some guy named Churchill. Wait a friend. All right, let's cycle that airlock and get aboard. We got a rook on deck. Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. <laughs> Probably would have just gotten annoyed at being bothered. I'll catch a smile at our next big revelation. You know there's more to come. Now, this station, the Eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. But the data takes a slow ride along the Sea of Light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. You won't be the only constellation out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andresia... It's been a while. Hate to pull the worried old man act on you, but... I'm an old man, and... I'm worried. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but... We all need backup sometimes. Anyway, hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. Draw the words another time, then. Watch your flaring. Don't come any closer. Identify yourself. Ah, oh, good. I suppose I should have guessed. It has been too long since I checked in. You are the newest member, yes? 
Do they often send you to check up on other, more senior members? Perhaps. I suspect Vladimir worried you might find me on the ground, instead of this one. We waste time. We should complete our mission and then we can talk. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets.
day. You did not respond when I called to you after you pulled out the artifact. Does that mean Barrett's theory and experience were correct? The artifact grants the first person who touches it a vision? The fact that it has happened to both you and Barrett is already more than we had before. I think it is important that we discuss what you saw back there. That man. What I had done. It was, yes. I appreciate that you see it that way. A very practical outlook, not one I find is shared amongst members of Constellation. May I ask what your background is? Have you now? I have also seen a great many things in my time. Some quite dangerous. We both seem to be unusual additions to Constellation. Please, I would ask that you not mention to Vladimir the, the circumstances in which you found me. This is not the first time that Varun zealots have attempted to corner me. If it is known that this has happened again, well, it has been a while since I was given an assignment on my own. I would not want it to be even longer in the future. Do you understand? Mom, this means we are in agreement. Thank you. That is good to know. I will finish here and return to New Atlantis when I can. You should go now, as they will be expecting us.
calling all spacers. You know who you are. Because that's what they call us, isn't it? The ones in charge. The ones who never respected us. The Free Star Collective. The United Colonies. Even the Crimson Fleet and Ecliptic. They see us as the leftovers. The unaligned space scum running rampant across the settled systems. You know what? Maybe they're right. So what? We matter just as much as they do. We deserve just as much as they do. Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty-handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? Embedded in a rock, or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? I catch myself just staring at the collection sometimes, wondering what it all means. Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. They didn't just gawk at the stars, Mateo. They explored, they tested. Science brought us to space, not daydreaming. I disagree. What's the point of science if not to enable humanity's dreams? And where do those dreams come from? Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noel. The work is what moves us forward. You're with me, right? Science or dreams? Which one is the true muse of space exploration? Neutrality in a debate? I guess your side forfeits. Uh, how can you forfeit if you don't even take a side? You're getting rusty with your comebacks, Mateo. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides, but I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. I have no objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Noel, pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the Rook to meet me back on board the station. Oh. Got my attention, Captain. Any day you make it, Turs. Victory in my book. I'm listening. Sure, I've got a minute. It's good to be on the boat. Lives get stuffy sometimes. You've got something for me? Ship is now docked. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. Now that those artifacts aren't just blips of hope in the Blackest Sea, I found an interesting pattern. 
the grav anomaly generated by one of those artifacts? It matches one on another planet. A bigger one. All right, let me transfer over the data. But I need you wearing caution's boots for this one. No telling what this thing is or why it's so large. Going to send you the mark close as I can, but I'm having trouble pinpointing the source. You'll need to explore the area on foot. Put your scanner to work. Don't know what you'll find. Keep your eyes open. And from there, maybe you catch a smile and uncover the source of it all. Gears ready.
Goodbye. I promise not to laugh if you need to jump up and down to stay warm. Are you alright? We need to get you back to the car. So many people, all in one place, I still cannot feel entirely comfortable. I'm still getting used to this place. It does not quite feel like home, but... Craig's is someday. Look at you. If you don't mind, I'm gonna start doing some scans. Like, right now. We were right about the anomaly, weren't we? Tip our ears on the tail. An entire building generating a signature just like the artifact. Um, Vladimir, look at these readings. Cardiovascular and neurological levels aren't in the normal range. I think we're going to need a little demonstration. Mind putting the paces to it?
Everyone saw that, right? Like a literal gift from the heavens. And also the most practical consequence of our little venture thus far. Got no old shipwise for this one. Going to just call weird, weird. So we have artifacts, a temple, and this power. All connected. But we do not understand the connections. We need additional information. Can we find more of them? Already picked one up from the scans. Matches another one of the artifacts we found. In theory, there might be one temple for each. But sifting through all the signs to identify a match is tricky. Impossible if we don't have the right artifact to compare. And even then, it takes time. Don't think it's just Fortune's laugh that this temple responded to you. The artifacts, the visions, this power you've gotten, all seems to be the same song somehow. Plenty to think about. Anyway, catch a smile out there. I'll work on finding planet anomalies that match the other artifacts we have. If you have a moment, I have something I'd like to discuss.